In order for the system to work, you have to upload your vehicles. And you have to link rates to the vehicles. The quickest way to add a bunch of vehicles to the system is by using the import template. On the second step of the getting started dashboard, we have a button that says, download template. And if you click on that, you will see the Excel file. Please note that this does not work with Apple's numbers, so in case you are using Apple's numbers, you can email the file to us, and we can convert it for you. When you have the Excel file in front of you, you will see that the columns have already been added for you, so you can simply fill out your fleet information. The first column, vehicle key, is used for any reference number you want to use to identify your vehicles. Then we proceed to vehicle make and model. The most important column to fill in is the vehicle class column. That's because the vehicle class will be used to determine the rate structure within the system. So, if you have categories, such as SUV or economic, then that's what you will fill out here. But if your rate structure is actually based on the vehicle make and model, then you would just write that into the vehicle class column. Then we proceed to the vehicle year and the VIN number. The odometer and fuel information are optional. Moving on, we have a license plate, the vehicle type, which can be used to identify if the vehicle is a car, or a van, or a motorbike. The vehicle type will assign different damage blueprints, according to which vehicle type you choose. You may also fill the location of each vehicle, when working with different branches. If you want to import the date of the last maintenance, the date format needs to be a text field, starting with a full year, the month, and finally the day. The spreadsheet will automatically convert it to a date format, which will require you to change it manually to a text format. The remaining columns are optional. Once we have this file filled out completely, we can save it, and then we can use the upload option here in the system, to upload our file. The import process is a four-step process. First, we select the file which we saved. The system will then show us the columns and the database column of how to import it. As we use the provided template, this will be already populated correctly, requiring no additional steps. All we have to do now is click on import file. In the third step, we'll get an email to confirm that the number of records to be imported is correct. Finally, once it is imported, we'll get another email with a confirmation. Your fleet will be successfully imported.